to discover what it means to be an American. Sometimes you have to get out on the road. That's where you'll find Fort Bragg communities of Cumberland County, North Carolina, a place that since the 18th century has lived and died for everything it means to be an American. We've collected all those important moments and mapped every historical site and point of interest along the way. We call it the Spirit of America Trails. Here's one of our 11 trails. The Civil War Trail. The Spirit of Brotherhood. Cumberland County saw a lot of battles in the American Civil War. We have preserved the local battlefields and cemeteries, so we as a nation may never forget the brotherhood that held us together during our darkest hours. Our first stop the Museum of the Cape Fear Historical Complex. The reason General Sherman came to Fayetteville for the arsenal is because it was manufacturing weapons and ammunition. In fact, the arsenal's greatest output was work done by women making cartridges, and then these would have been sent to the front where the fighting was. The foundations you see behind me are all that remains of the arsenal. In March of 1865, General Sherman ordered Colonel Orlando Poe to blast, batter, and burn the arsenal. What walls did not fall down their own, battering rams were used to knock them down. Next up on the Civil War Trail, the Market House. On March 11, 1865, General Sherman's army is approaching Fayetteville. He sends advanced troops into Fayetteville. General Wade Hampton and his staff are lodged at the Fayetteville Hotel about a half block behind me. They noticed that Union soldiers had approached Fayetteville and they engaged the enemy. There was a brief skirmish around the market house and General Hampton and his troops were able to successfully cross the river bridge, burning it behind them, causing General Sherman to have to build pontoon bridges to cross. Next up on the Civil War Trail, the Averisboro Battlefield and Museum. We're standing on the uh, battlefield of the Aversboro battlefield where the next to last battle of the Civil War was fought. There were about 30,000 Union troops that came with General Sherman after he had left Fayetteville, North Carolina and marching northward. General Hardy only had 8,000 troops so he knew he could not defeat 30,000 but he thought he could delay them and both sides did have artillery involved, but the Union obviously had better artillery. The Chicora Cemetery is behind me where 56 Confederate soldiers are buried, and only two of those we know by name. The others are buried in mass graves. Chicora is an Indian word meaning Carolina. That's the reason it has that name. There is a replica period slave cabin there that was authentic to the Lebanon plantation and was moved there in 1965. 